Hello besties and painting buddies. Welcome back to another paint with me session. For this painting, I will be making use of Windsor and Newton oil paint while I share with you my perspective and experience on racism and also why the effect of racism will continue. I want to say, first of all, I am a Christian as well as trying to be more open-minded or rather just being curious about certain things and a lot of things are just not adding up for me. This is just me being curious, okay? I need you to forget about scientific fact for a second and reason with me a little bit. So the Bible talked about sons of Adam and Eve, which is Cain and Abel, and also how they offered sacrifice unto God. And the sacrifice that Cain offered was not accepted because he was greedy about his offering and ended up killing Abel out of jealousy because God accepted his instead. And as a result of that, God laid a curse on Cain because of what he had done. And one of the curses that God laid on him was whoever finds him will kill him or they will just hate him for no reason. So my question is, are we being punished for Cain's sin? Or is Cain supposed to be a black man? Or did the white man wrote and created the Bible, so-called Christianity, to make us feel like we are supposed to be treated the way we have been treated so far? Let me know what you think in the comment section. But anyway, um, have I really experienced racism? Mm, I would say yes. I wouldn't necessarily say racism. I would say self-hate as a result of racism. Like growing up in school, most of my friends would tease each other by calling themselves names, especially teasing the most darkest person in class, calling them like monkey, ape, just to make fun of them. And to be honest with you, I'm so glad about how things have changed over time, especially when it comes to afro curly hair well there's still a, a lot of things that needs to be changed but i'm glad about the progress that has been made so far come to think of it why is black evil and white good why does black represent evil and white represent good i feel like the moment that stopped being a representation of good and evil we will stop reflecting it on ourselves and our skin color and why are the western people called white they're not actually white you know like you can clearly see their skin is not like literally white and why am i called black like i have a brown skin it's dark chocolate you might think it's funny but it's actually not like imagine your your child going to school for the first time understanding what black represents and what white represents being good and black being evil, and also watching animated cartoons, especially Simba. Like, why is Scar, I think his name is Scar, the villain of Simba, why is he dark skin and why is Simba light brown? Like, all of those things imprint on our kids, and then they start thinking about, oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm no good because I'm dark skin, and then a lighter skin feel superior or entitled. Like, honestly speaking, I feel like that needs to stop. The phrase white people, the, fa the phrase black people, they need to stop because I think it's just ridiculous. It's just my opinion, but I strongly believe in it. Why do I think racism or the effects of racism will continue? We need to focus on building generational wealth. Are we creating a legacy for the generation to come? Are we working as a community or are we competing with each other? Are we just birthing kids for the sake of it? Or are we birthing kids for a purpose? Are you paying attention to raising your kids or are they your pets? Wondering why the cycle keeps repeating itself over and over again. What are you speaking into your kids? We can't afford not to build a legacy. We can't afford not to care. Well, I haven't really experienced it firsthand, 
So I'm just not going to care. I'm just going to yeah, live my normal life and still want to birth my kids into the same world. How heartless can I be to do that? Do you just want to be a survivor and thinking someone else would do it? Someone else would do it. What every, what if everyone is thinking someone else would do it and nobody actually do anything. I know there's a lot of people out there that are actually making things happen, especially with the civil rights movement that has happened so far, which has brought about the changes that we are enjoying today. Just put yourself in the shoes of your generation to come. I just want to express it more for you to understand that we don't have the luxury to not just do nothing, to just don't do anything. We don't have that luxury. We can afford to do that. Everything you do, everything you're doing should be for the cause. How is your life purpose helping to change the problem that we're facing today in the society? We can't afford to not have a family. We can't afford to not be united. I want you to understand that there's certain things the white people will go through, the same setback the white people will go through. If we go through the same thing, it would set us back 10 times even more. We can't afford to live a normal, regular life. We actually have to want to strive for more. Into power, we have to strive for more. If you ask a child, what colour is your skin? They will say brown. You ask a white child, what colour is your skin? They will say pinkish. Until society tells them that, oh no, it's actually black and white. It's little things like this that fills the mind. Yes, you want to be a singer. How is that making the world a better place? Yes, you want to be an actor. But how are you using that to make the world a better place? Yes, you want to be a pastor. Yes, you want to be a musician. But how are you using that to make the world a better place? Yes, you want to be a doctor. How are you using that to make the world a better place? And you want to be a carpenter. How are you using that to make the world a better place? How are you using your God-given talent? to turn the world around, to make the world a better place for your next generation. We are the opposite of violence. We are the opposite of thieves. We are the opposite of whatever they have made us out to be. For us to create a better world, we have to build a better world. And how do we do that? We have to be in position of power. For me, protesting is okay. It's not a big deal, but I see it as begging your oppressor like seriously do you think that they don't know what they're doing everything they're doing is very much intentional a narcissist don't need you to beg your way out of being oppressed or telling him how oppressed you are we need to be in power to show the world how peaceful and loving it can be